Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you being here today. I'm Darlene and I'll get started on your reading very shortly because I have somebody coming through. I'm waiting. Let's see which deck do you guys want me to use today? <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. I'll be using the lights of your deck today. Uh, okay, so let's get the business out of the way first. I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble with my throat today. Sorry. Um, business, yes, thank you. I would very much appreciate it if you would hit that like button or if you have a comment. I try to respond to all of my comments. It may take me a couple of days, but I do try to get around to them. <clears throat> and um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm just getting started here on YouTube. Oh, goodness, already off the bat. And um, it means a lot. So thank you. I appreciate it. And also, you'll want to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to tell you how you can get a free personal reading from me. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And stay to the end, I'll give you all the scoop and the details you need on that. Okay, so let's talk about who's coming through today. Um, I have three generations. Okay, I have, uh, let me show, <laughs> I always forget. Oh yeah, put some card down. This could take forever if I don't. <clears throat> I have a grandmother, a mother, and a daughter. Now, I get the sense that the grandmother passed some time ago, and then the mother and daughter either crossed at the same time or very uh, close in, in a time frame together. <clears throat> Pardon me. The daughter seems quite young I'm going to say maybe five or around that age, maybe, you know, a couple years younger or older, but she seems quite young. She seems younger than five, actually. So, three generations of beautiful women coming through today, and they're not, let me see. No, they're not focusing on how they pass, so... As you've heard me say in other videos, that just means it's not important to uh, the message that they want to bring in today. They really are here to talk to this gentleman who I believe is their grandfather. Or, well, excuse me, the, the grandfather. So um, this very likely was the husband of the grandmother. That's the energy. In fact, that is the energy I'm feeling. <clears throat> and then the mother would have been his daughter and the young child and the child would have been his granddaughter so they're giving and they're showing me this just sweet man who's still here clearly and how much they loved him and they're I don't know why these cards one second y'all okay they're not jumping because they want me to switch decks okay gotcha they are saying <clears throat> I'm so sorry <clears throat> I think this incense is getting to me that they I think they were a tight family that even though they physically might have necessarily lived close to each other I don't know that they're not showing me that but they were very uh, close and loving and it was a good family and you know happy family situation and I think this the grandfather is untypically usually you know they're well never mind doesn't matter the grandfather is now left <clears throat> with his three favorite women gone but the interesting thing is it, it's not what I'm going to call the typical for this situation. They're showing me that he's not, I mean, certainly he agreed, but that he's not like distraught. He's not, you know, like that. But instead, he seems like a very positive person. He's very, like he, 
he believe, his faith is strong, so he believes that they are still around. And, and you know, in obviously not in physical form, but they are telling me he talks to them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This image is this little girl jumping up and down, just like, yes, 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 I hear Grandpa. That's exactly what they're showing me. <clears throat> um, yeah, the mom and daughter are holding hands. They're just, they're just, you know, so sweet. They're, oh, I'm so, such a lucky reading. You know, I get some downers sometimes because that's just, you know, these stories are hard. Life is not always pretty and fairy tales and unicorns. And so it's nice when I get to do a, a sweet reading with lots of good sweet energy like this. So, okay. Um, but he's, he's here, and so this message is for him, and I'm trying, y'all know it's hard for me to talk and, uh, pull in the energy, so give me one second here. Um, apparently, somebody in the family had a pool, and they used to have some good fun times by the pool. I think Grandpa especially liked to play with the little girl by the pool. So somehow that is significant. Um, what else, Spirit? And was there a... Um, Somebody, again, I don't know whose house this would have been. Somebody had a porch, like a swing. They're showing me, because my brother, that was, my, they're showing me my brother's house and his front porch. I mean, there's a big, there's a swing on it, which after he passed, I actually have it. I brought it home and I have it in my back um, courtyard. And it's very special to me because there was a lot, a lot of really sweet, good memories and moments that were shared on that swing. And they're showing me that. So... That also is something, it doesn't have to be on a porch, I guess it could be in a yard, but that's why they're showing me that. So some, sometime in this relationship, there was some good swing time. Um, okay, let me see here. What is Spirit saying to me with these cards? So y'all bear with me while I tune in here and see if this is them or you, the viewer, because I never know till I pull these cards. Let me see here. Entertain yourself, pet your dog or something while I'm tuning into this energy. Or cat. Okay, There's, there, uh, this is a message for you, the viewer. The grandpa and I'm also getting okay there's another man and they're saying once removed another man so I don't get this was a uh, some I don't know well let's see what what are you saying okay somehow all right they're showing me they kind of give me this visual. I know you can't see anything but my gnarly hands here, but um, the three women, one, two, three women, and they're very tight that, that have crossed over and they're all holding hands and lovely. And then there's this grandfather. And then in the distance over here, there's another male, but he was not, they're not, they're showing me that he was somehow not in the core of this family either. I don't know if this was a divorce. I don't know if this was a cousin. I don't know if this was <clears throat> a, a brother who was more distant. They weren't as close. I, I'm not getting clearly what this is, but there's another male, a contemporary to the mother, the middle of these females, the mother, a contemporary to her in, in age. Is who this other man was. <clears throat> Somehow he, <clears throat> I don't want to say estranged, estranged is kind of a strong word and that's, I don't know that that's accurate, but somehow he was separated or separate 
or removed somewhat from this core part of the family. So if that fits your story, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if not, you know, stay tuned. There'll be more stories. There'll be more people, more loved ones to talk. So <clears throat> they're showing me, um, again, this message for the grandfather. And they're, again, acknowledging that you really... Okay, now they're telling... I'm going to finish the sentence yet in this reading, I promise. <laughs> okay. This... This is just an affirmation, of some of it, of what I've already told you. So let me just say that. Uh, Grandpa had high hopes and wishes, as all parents and grandparents do for their children and grandchildren. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting we got the star here twice. And the star comes... To, now, hold on. I don't read the cards exactly the same way that traditional meanings like a love reading or something because of the kind of the reading this is. This is a different context. So if you're out there saying, oh, that doesn't mean that or that card doesn't mean that, then um, go watch somebody else because that's just not how these cards speak to me. Um, but typically, the star always comes after a tower moment. So... They're just saying to me that they saw you, meaning the grandpa was who we're talking to here, that you dealt with their, the grief of them leaving in different times, however that happened. But you, because of your strength, you were just such a rock, they're saying, because of your strength, you, quicker than most people, got back up, recovered yourself, and got on with life basically got on with the business of life <clears throat> that and it's interesting here we have the star twice so i think what you didn't okay they're telling me because i was asking what is this seven of swords seven of swords in a typical meaning means you know cheating lying not being truthful about something or the truth being hidden sometimes <clears throat> so okay Okay, so now the secrets come out. <laughs> um, there is, oh, I'm getting so much information, y'all, I can't even, so I'm going to have to try to narrow this. <sighs> okay, okay, there's a couple of different stories here. I get the feeling that there's two storylines that I'm getting. One is the grandfather had the secret wish about one of these, either the daughter or the granddaughter, about something he was hoping she would do in her life. Something, I don't know if there was a family, you know how sometimes things run in families like athletes or military. Sometimes, it, you know, you get three generations of people who go into the military or something like that. I don't know psychics that runs in families you know so something like that and he had a hope that you would carry on with that but you didn't I mean the, I'm talking about the person on the other side now whoever this person is that he, this is about the mother the daughter whatever but that didn't happen <clears throat> but you never told them you never put pressure on them to do that um, you always held hope but you, it was a secret hope that you held for them. Okay, another storyline, the, the other storyline I'm getting is, this man who's distant is distant because of some kind of cheating, dece deception is the word that's coming to me strong, some kind of deception that happened, and you know it came out, there was a tower moment, it came out, and I'm getting that the deception <clears throat> was that this, uh, that I'm gonna think I think that it was the daughter okay because I want to say this Queen of Cups which and immediately they're showing me the daughter uh, found out about this person so whatever that means to you um, <clears throat> yeah that's what that's about now let me see here at the bottom of the deck here 
and and grandpa you held excuse my unladylike language but you held the shit together you were the glue that's what they're telling me you held it together whenever whatever this happened um you you were the glue that's all they're saying you were the darn glue yeah we have the knight of wands here twice so <clears throat> it can mean a lot of things but the fact that i've got it twice from two different decks and right next to the seven of swords it it, it makes me want to think somebody was cheating you know it's it's just kind of yeah um and somebody got in their head now <clears throat> cheating can mean a lot of things it doesn't always have to mean with another person oftentimes it does and in particular because of the knight of wands knight of wands is typically the player card you know the quick come in quick leave quick you know the that kind of energy yeah and somebody was put out in the cold so that story it seems to be unfolding to me there were yeah uh, the high priestess um, is about intuition. It's about things unseen, but the, the so they're telling me the fa grandfather. You knew you you might have been the one that found this out initially. Yeah, you might have been because um, you just had good intuition. You had very good intuition. Yeah, and then there was this devil. The devil can be a lot of things. It can be restriction. But it can also be addictions. Um, so there could have been some addiction involved with this. Yeah, and that somebody was holding back. And I feel like that was holding back the truth. And you were also holding back in this relationship uh, with this woman because of whatever you was happening with you over here with this deception. And then uh, divine intervention came along, and that was the end of that. So you know that divine intervention looks a lot of lot of, can look a lot of different ways. It can be <clears throat> somebody seeing you know a text they weren't meant to see, or somebody you know running into somebody when you shouldn't be with somebody else, or it can be oh gosh you know use your imagination. Lots of different ways that can look. It can be in a deception at work maybe somebody was taking money or or padding the books or um you know telling untruth what whatever you apply that to your story as it fits but they're just coming through to acknowledge you grandpa that you were again you were the glue that held them together through this situation this this tower situation and they're also acknowledging you for not pressuring them about this um, achievement that didn't happen or your wish that didn't happen and and then another message coming through is and but because i've got again i've got the star twice here so i had the knight of wands twice and the star twice so the star is you know uh, a lot of things but it's healing it's uh, wishes coming true it's a long time coming but it it's wishes coming true and they're telling me you never you never gave up hope but you never pressured them and they are acknowledging you for that that you um yeah you you held the dream you held um held them high no matter what they did in their lives you held them high that's okay i don't think i've ever been given quite that message but i love that okay and then Anything else, Spirit? Let's see if Spirit has anything else they want to add. They're just, they're acknowledging <clears throat> you. They're saying uh, they see you exercising again. That's good. Or maybe you started that recently again or something. But you're exercising. They like that. Um, you're looking good. Yeah, they're saying you're looking good, Gramps. You're looking good. Love that. And I really like this man. He's, he's just a sweetheart. So if this is your message, God bless you for, again, for being the glue for your family. And they just want you to know that they're still <clears throat> looking uh, in on you and that they hear you. Literally, they've told me this. They hear you talking to them. Continue to do that because, guys, they're just not in their physical body, but they don't really leave us. They check in on us. They see what's going on in our lives. They communicate with us in 
the reason sometimes we can't hear them is a we don't believe in it see we don't open ourselves up to it i mean if that was what happened to b i don't know i can't <laughs> i'm not doing very well with my alphabet today uh, i think b was uh, maybe your energy vibration isn't high enough. You need to clean some things out and get yourself in alignment with uh, with a higher level of energy. Sometimes that can that can be it. <clears throat> so just know that they're there and and they're watching you and they're just so proud of you, Gramps, and they love you so much. And that's really the message that's coming through today. And I'm going to end that there. That's such a lovely message. Thank you, family, for letting me feel be in that energy. Now, um, okay, so we're toward the end of our reading, and I promised you I was going to tell you how you could get a free reading from me. So here's what we're going to do. I am going from today forward when this video is released. Um, it is, well, I'm making this on November the 2nd, so we, I'm going to try to get it uploaded on November the 3rd. But uh, if you subscribe to my channel and I can see who you are, because uh, I get a notice from YouTube when people subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to take your names. Now remember, let me make this clear. I'm going to take you, let me finish my sentence. That's been a theme today, not finishing sentences. I'm going to take your name and I'm literally going to put, put everybody's name and put them in a basket or a bowl or something and I'm going to draw a name at the end of the month. And then I will announce the winner in a separate video the beginning of December. And then when I announce that video, you just have to write to me uh, at my email and tell me you were the winner and you're, you know, of course, I'll see that it's you. Um, well, I don't know. It depends on what email. Just tell me what your YouTube handle is because when I pick a name, let's say your YouTube name is Hello Kitty. Now that's, maybe your name is, I don't know, Ermine Bentley, but, but your YouTube name is Hello Kitty. Kitty. Then I'm going to, announce in the video that Hello Kitty has won a free reading. So you need to be mindful of that. <laughs> yeah. And then write to me and tell me what your YouTube name was and that you won the, the giveaway. And you send that, send me an email. Um, it, it, this email address, by the way, is in the, the comments. In the, I'm sorry, not the comments, the description below. But the email address is Scorpio1111reads at gmail.com. So that's how that's going to work. And I'm wishing you all luck. And I hope that I get to bring through um, your family and loved ones. Uh, sometimes these readings could just be, you know, if you want, I can just do a reading just for you. Doesn't have to be about your loved ones. I've done those for a long time too. So just uh, we'll talk about that after you send me your email and we'll take it from there. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Again, appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again soon and bringing through your relatives and loved ones. Thanks so much, and I wish you all many, many blessings. Take care. Bye.